This is the continuation of the PCBR's video tutorial series on board design. This tutorial covers Chapter 3, Converting a Schematic to a PCB. A PDF of this tutorial may be found on the 4PCB.com website. Go to Engineering and Technical, mouse over PCB Artist Layout Software, and select PCB Artist Tips and Tools. Select the link PCB Artist Layout Software Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. This same document is also found at Help Tutorials in the PCB Artist software. As a reminder, a red target animation at the cursor indicates a left click, and a blue animated target indicates a right click. Once a schematic is created in PCB Artist, it can be translated into a PCB drawing. To do this, go to Tools Schematic to PCB and left click on Translate to PCB. This will begin the new PCB wizard. The new PCB wizard is a series of dialogues for setting up a new PCB design. This function also works for creating a new PCB without using a schematic. One will be able to revisit all of these options later during the PCB design process. During this process, hitting the F1 key will access the embedded help documentation. The first section of the wizard is the board section. One may specify the units, the precision, and define the board size. By default, all the boards are rectangles but can be changed later during the design process. An option for a template may also be accessed here. Templates are technology files that may contain rules and information the user will set up during the board creation process that can be saved. Click Next when done. The Design Requirements section allows one to select basic or expanded board types. The basic spec board has less design options available and is often used for prototyping boards. An expanded spec board is a full production board and will have all specs available to the order. If selecting a multi-layer basic spec board, the number of layers may be set here. Click Next when done. The Layers section is where the number of layers for an expanded spec board may be set. Controls for solder mask, silk, and power plane layer options are found here. Some controls on routing are also found here. Click Next when done. The Board Parameters section will have options in regards to the board order. One can select Material Type, Finish, board thickness, and copper weight, among other options. The track width and gap section and the minimum hole size may also be found here. These values should equal to or be less than the detected values found on your board design. Some values cannot be changed if ordering a basic spec board. These values will appear grayed out. Click Next when done. The Additional Requirements section contains options for electrical testing. A special requirements box for board order notes is also found here. Click Next when done. The production section contains areas of requirement, including board part number and revision number. One may set the turnaround time and quantity. Array information may be set here. If ordering a basic spec board, the pricing will appear here in the lower left. Click Next when done. The Place and Route section contains controls for placement of components. Some routing options are also found here. Click Next when done. The final section is where one creates a file name and saves the .pcb file at a specific location. Once done, click Finish. The board will then output from the wizard and will be ready for component placement and layout. This concludes this section of the video tutorial. Proceed to the next video of this series, the PCB Design Editor Part 1.